Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. You are with Victoria. So just remember, all you need to do is just click subscribe to see plenty more videos coming your way. But today is all about contouring. So by the end of this video, you will know how to contour with some simple and easy steps. So obviously you'll have all have seen the contouring um, and you will have seen plenty of videos and talk to people that use the technique. And it can be really quite scary when you look at how much product you're putting on your skin, where do you put it, how dark do you use it? And it, as I said, it can be scary. So I wanted to create um, a really easy, simple step-by-step -step that you can follow at home. And I've tried loads of different products. Um, and again, I go back to my favorite of Charlotte Tilbury and she just literally has two products. So I'm just gonna hold them up to the camera like so. Um, so they come, you've got the darker one, which um, is just called Easy Contour Sculpture Face, and it's a contour wand. And then you've got your lighter one, which is just a beauty light wand, easy highlighter. So you can use that one pretty much anywhere on the face, but obviously this is the one that you're gonna be doing the darker points um, to. So as I said, I've tried loads and loads, and really contouring, think of it as long lines of, similar to using like, um, a bronzer in the bits that you want to bring in the face and the highlighter where you want to emphasize those parts. So let's keep it simple and let's think of something that you can do on a day-to-day -day basis. If you're like myself, I don't have 20 minutes just to contour my face in the mornings or even if I'm going out of the night and I certainly don't want to feel like I've got 50 layers of makeup on my face and when it comes to taking it off at night, I'm gonna look like a different person. So all I wanna do is just bring in those areas that I want to slim down slightly and then highlight and bring out the areas, i.e. your cheekbones, that you want to emphasize. So let's do it. So what I'm gonna do is just clip up my fringe, get that one out of the way. And obviously contour and highlight is such a big thing. And it, I would say over the last um, year, it's become even more popular. But a lot of you may have been a little bit unsure about trying it, not what products to use. So I thought, let's perfect, let's do it today. So my first one is I've put on my base, etc., and now I'm gonna contour. So when you first open this, I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand for you to see. If I just hold that up to the camera. So you can see it's quite dark. So when I first put it onto my um, skin, I was a little bit like, oh, not sure, that's quite dark. And that is everybody's automatic reaction. So don't panic. It only comes in one shade um, and it pretty much works with everyone's skin tone. You've just got to blend it. So I would say less is more. So what we're going to use this one, it's got a little twist top. So we just open it um, and as you squeeze it, it comes out of like this soft sort of brush end, like a wand. All I'm going to do is place it just under, if I pull in my cheekbones, like so, I'm just going to come under here on both sides. I'm going to place a little bit just on the top parts of the forehead and a little bit just on the jawline and then we're going to blend it in. Now some people also contour down the side of the nose as well so you can do that if you want to. All I'm going to do is just put this on. So as you see when it goes on, attractive, eh? um, it goes on quite dark. And what I want to show you is that, you know, it's easy to blend. You don't have to go crazy. When a lot of people contour, um, they put so much on. What I would say to you is you can add to it. So if you go crazy to start with, you're going to really struggle to blend it in. So now I've put this on. What I'm going to use is one of my favorite complexion brushes. So again, I'll just hold that up for you. So you can see it's got quite a flat end on it like so. This is the end I'm going to use down the cheek side. Um, and on the forehead here. And then the smaller side will be what we use around the nose and to highlight, etc. So it's a lovely brush, easy to keep clean. So all we're gonna do now is literally buff this in. So I'll just work it into the skin. So as I buff it in, I do it as a bit like if I was putting on my um, bronzer and I'm pushing it back, but you can see how nice it goes into the skin. You don't have to put loads on to achieve the effect that you're looking for. The only thing I would say is just make sure you, you work it into the areas. Don't leave it. So you can see all that's done. It's just brought in that cheek area there. Same on the other side. And then we can use the highlighter to emphasize. So I said, it doesn't have to take long. You don't have to go crazy with it. 
You can use this on your day makeup. It doesn't have to be done for an evening. But sometimes I see girls using this and if it's so much on, you can literally see the lines on their face. So just literally bring it in. So if I turn my head, you can see all I've done. It's just brought in those cheekbones. And I just want to show you how you can use the side of your nose as well. I don't tend to use it on my nose much, but let, I'll show you. You can just run it down just the outer part. And what this does is it actually slims down the nose very, very slightly before we highlight it. So this time I'm using just a small end, but just make sure you blend it in. As I said, this product is, you really can't go wrong. Even if you're not very confident with makeup, then you can still use it because as I said, as you can see, it blends in so easy. So my next part is the highlighter. So again, exactly the same. I'll just pop a little bit onto my hand for you to see if I hold that up to the camera. So you can see as I turn that, there we are. <laughs> it's just got that nice shimmer to it. Don't over highlight. Often I see girls, <laughs> if you're out, and they've highlighted so much, you would literally see them in the dark. The idea is you want to keep that natural, glowy, kind of sun-kissed look. So all you're going to use is highlight on the highest point of your cheekbone. So I'm just going to use it here, here. I'm going to use it down the center of my nose and just above the lip, your cupid bow, just there to bring it out. But don't go crazy because you can add to it, but you can't take it away. So all I'm going to do is just smile. I'm just going to place it onto the highest point of my cheek, like so. Down the center and a little bit just in there. So um, then we are going to just blend it in. So again, we I'm just gonna buff that off onto my hand. I'm just gonna use the wider one to use on the cheeks. Now you can use your finger if you um, want to, if you feel more comfortable, if you haven't got this kind of brush. So you could just literally buff it in. But as I said, this brush. As it is a Charlotte Tilbury one. Those of you that have seen my videos, I'm a huge fan of Charlotte Tilbury's products. They are totally amazing. So you see how easy that goes into the skin. And just as you turn your head, it gives you that nice, perfect shimmer. Now, what I would say is, don't bring it too much onto the apple of your cheeks. That's where you would put your um, blusher, which I'll show you in a moment. If you highlight that part too much, you can end up looking a tad too too shiny so i'm just running this down if i turn my nose for you can see it's just got that and what i like to do is just run it along the tip of my nose as well and then just blend it in this is a great product as well to use like on the upper arch of the eyebrow i really love this especially like summertime in the day i'm just wanting to give that nice sort of sun kiss look so then what I would do is just turn your face slightly. So when you're looking in the camera and you're looking in the mirror, sorry, should I say, um, you can see sort of how shiny it is if you need to blend it a little bit more and go out in natural daylight as well. Because if you're doing your makeup in your bedroom, etc., and the, the light's not great, it can look totally different when you step outside. So remember just to twist your head, go near to a window, go outside, go into the bathroom, look at it in different lights. And then lastly, I'm just going to pop on a little bit of blusher um, just to show you. So your blusher, we're going to blend into the highlighter section. So all I'm going to do is just put it onto the apple of my cheeks. Keep it soft as well. Don't go too heavy with it. So I just put a little bit onto my hand and then onto this. So I'm just going to smile and then buff it up into the cheek. So you can see as you work it in, it just blends together. well and as I said depending if you're going out of an evening um, or your just daytime makeup I'm just going to pop my fringe down for you just to show you the crazy hair so as you can see nice fresh glowy tone to the skin nothing too heavy it took me five minutes to do and remember it's just using those two simple products um, so your contour wand um, sculpture and your highlighter wand and they're both by Charlotte Tilbury and you can purchase them together. Remember, less is more. I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember, tune in for some more. Just hit subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you.
See you soon.